something that we didn't tell you. Because, mm -hmm. like, idiots, oh, we forgot. And, well, it's fun to give them another video anyways. <laughs> Famous Rachel and Rhea and we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. Before we get started, Sissy, is there something that you would like to share with the Gala fam? Please make sure that you are following us at the social media scrolling below. We also built our own website at www.thegalasisters.com. Everything that she just said, you will also find linked in the description box down below. We also encourage you and invite you to join us on this channel and hit that big old subscribe button. So with that, we'll take a look at the dirty, disgusting truth of the CEO of CNN, Jeff Zucker, part two. Ooh, this man is so dirty. So... For those of you who have been following our channel, you know that we have been very adamant at the fact that Donald J. Trump did not force Andrew Cuomo to resign. He may have had something to do with it, but he probably had very little to do with it. Looking at the facts, it, it was the dirty Dems. They but wanted Andrew Cuomo's position, and they sought to take him out. But what if we told you that there's another Cuomo who he is 100% responsible for that person losing his job? And we have proof. Oh, of course we do. We told you the last time that we did this disgusting, nasty truth about this man that he used to work for NBC. Uh-huh. But there's something that we didn't tell you. Because, mm -hmm. like, idiots, oh, we forgot. And, well, it's fun to give them another video anyways. <laughs> so, Jess Zucker, we found the photo. We found it. Oh, yes, we did. So, who do you think discovered Donald J. Trump? Oh, it was Jeff Zucker when he was an NBC executive. Who encouraged Donald J. Trump to become what he is today? Jeff Zucker. Oh! Oh, oh! Who called for, um... Chris to be fired when he had a Twitter. <gasps> Donald J. Trump. Remember that when Trump tweeted that? He said it. He said it more than once. He said that. And it turns out he was friends with Chris's boss, Jeff Zucker. Oh! Damn! Wow! Did you think we found that disgusting, nasty picture where it looks like the two of you? Well, I'm not going to finish that sentence. But there's also reports of how they loved saying, you know, you're fired, and and Zucker loved that, and blah, 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 blah. Well, why don't you take your, why don't you go up there and tell the motherfucking truth for once in your goddamn life, in your pathetic, pathetic, political, stupid piece of shit life. Oh, you ran for mayor of New York City. Wow! Oh, I'm so proud of you. So, Zucker... I don't know if he actually was the one who discovered Trump, but he helped build Trump and encouraged him all along the way. And then this monster that he created became president, which gave his network on CNN eventually so much to report on. I mean, the media loved Trump, even with their hatred of Trump. They still loved him. So then he made this person who people are obsessed with and and obsession was also hatred too i mean anytime he used his name on media people were like oh, what's happening next so meanwhile zucker is just making so much money off from this dude and then he built him up and then dragged him down and zucker has benefited off from trump Oh, of course he has. Piece of garbage. Wow, you thought Murdoch was bad? Oh, Zucker's a thousand times worse. Way worse. And now you see CNN has a lot of glimpses of 
being right leaning, of being more Republican than actually Democratic. And it, you you log into Twitter any day of the week, any time, and you see people questioning what's going on at CNN. Oh, but what's the latest allegation? Oh, this one's good. So their little pathetic CNN um, CEO, Jeff Zucker, who is a terrible human being and needs to be, um, I don't know, fired from CNN. I don't know, put in jail, put in prison. So we told you that he and his wife, Karen, broke up in 2019. But we didn't know why. Until OK Magazine this past week printed an article with a lot of damning information. Ooh. So a while ago, a couple of years ago, when this little piece of garbage, and yes, he's a piece of garbage, got this job as CEO of CNN, Katie Couric applied for this, for the second senior most position. You know, Katie Couric of the Today Show, you know, who he also helped make. For executive vice president. For executive vice president. But she didn't get it. But guess who did? Allison Gullist. I don't know how to say her last name. I'm just guessing. Oh, but who is Allison Gullist? Jeff Zucker's side chick. Side chick. They were having an affair. And she was always lurking around wherever he was. She got heat. Jeff and Karen got an apartment near where they lived. If that's not nepotism, I don't know what is. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. That sounds familiar. Didn't Percoco go to prison for doing that? Yes, he did. So, isn't that corruption? Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, well, Jeff Zucker's not a politician. Oh, bull fucking shit. You know that people in the media are little baby politicians. But like I said earlier, he ran for mayor of New York City once. And he wants to run for political office again. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, hell no. That's not gonna happen. No. What you did to my friend is not okay. Absolutely not. And then it turns out that there's nothing. Oh, I thought CNN fired anybody who tarnished their name. Oh, so let's just um, revisit a little bit of what happened on <laughs> New Year's Eve 2022. Oh, you want to talk about that? Okay. Well, our favorite person who, I'm just kidding, I can't even say that with straight face, who works at CNN. Decided that being drunk on camera was really, 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 really appropriate. So Don Lemon used an N-word. Mm -hmm. And also did a really um, stupid dance that insulted and he me. And he also looked like a freaking idiot. <laughs> and and, and I, we looked at each other and we're like, oh, for one night of the year, he decided to actually look gay. And we can say that. Yeah, we can. Check our intro video. Mm -hmm. Anyways. As we were saying before the little shit interrupted us, Don Lemon used words that he should never have used on TV. That we're not going to repeat here because we literally can't. I'm not. We just won't. I'm not saying it. I don't want. I'm, I like my channel. I like the channel. So then, Ann Cohen of Bravo fame and his little, um, I don't know, are they dating? Whatever the hell Anderson Cooper is to him. His, um, I don't know. His android? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Anyways, um, they were hosting their annual CNN show, which we did not watch this year because, you know, why the hell would you watch CNN after, like, they're run by someone who We is, had a lot more fun without them. They're run by some idiot who doesn't have a brain. And we don't support that. Well... Andy Cohen went on a rampage uh, against the former mayor of New York, Bill de blah, 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 de Blasio, who we hate. I mean, within hours of taking office, Mayor Adams has done uh, more than <laughs> more that de Blasio did in eight years. Mm -hmm. That's embarrassing. Very much so. I mean, um, Adams has had to deal with a big snowstorm like right away, and he, and he had a meeting at four in the morning. <laughs> That's what you should be doing. That's exactly what you should okay. be doing. Okay. So then what happened? So 
So he wakes up the next day and he's like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. And he sends out this cryptic tweet that I actually saw the tweet before I heard that Andy Cohen was in trouble. And remember, we didn't watch it, so I didn't know what he did. I mean, Andy Cohen has gone on rampages against the Bosco before on the same show, so I don't really understand the big deal. But anyways, you know, it's Zucker, so who who understands what Zucker's doing? Zucker is a, is a, is a Republican, a Democrat, I don't an idiot. But Andy Cohen said something about, uh, you know, I had a little too much last night, I was overserved, and, and, you know, but I still had fun, like, please don't fire me. <laughs> well, rumor has it he's not going to be invited back. Yeah. Andy Cohen is not going to be invited back, despite the fact that Tom Lundman used inappropriate words. Okay, you know what that says to me? It says to me that Anderson Cooper went to Jeff Zucker, and he was really embarrassed by what Andy Cohen said, and he complained. Yep. Because I think that's the only complaint. As a former manager myself, I can just kind of, like, read the signs, and I think that that is the only complaint that Zucker would take seriously if it came from Anderson Cooper. And I think that Anderson Cooper turned on Andy Cohen. Now, this is just speculation on my part, but she and I, we're rarely wrong. Mm -hmm. We're rarely wrong. I mean, look at how wonderful things are going for Andrew Cuomo. So we're, we kind of know how to read human behavior. We're just really, really intuitive and really good at this. Okay, let's back up for just a second. In this, like, OK Magazine article, it talked about how Allison Golust and Don Lemon um, and Fareed Zakaria, another we're CN hanging out, we're hanging out with Zucker, and I'm like, okay, seriously, I thought Don Lemon had a hus the husband. Yeah, he does, but you know, he doesn't act like it. No, he doesn't act like it. No way. <laughs> oh God, no. And um, it sounded like um, 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 they were on a double date. That's what I'm it saying. It really did sound like they were on a double date. I mean, if you have an open relationship, the more power to you. That's who you are. But if you don't, I mean, you, you both have to agree on it. And um, I don't think they are. Sounds to me like uh, Don Lemon. Um, he's uh, very good friends with the um, network executive, and I have questions. Why did you? So all this time you were like, "Oh, Chris, I love you. I love you. I love you. You're my best friend. Oh my god!" And you turned on him. Well, so Don Lemon is supposed to be all torn up about this, like she just said. And then on New Year's Eve, he was like, "This is the best place in the world. I wouldn't want. I don't want to be anywhere else. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so blessed. I'm so honored." And he was just like whooping it up. He was just having a great time, and he was dancing, and and he was celebrating almost like he was celebrating that Chris was gone. That's how I interpreted. Um. So Don Lemon. We were right. You were really friends with Chris. We were right about that, too. We're not friends. You weren't really friends with Chris. You weren't. You guys were not friends. Your friendship was like, what, like some, like, manufactured, like, I love you so much. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. That's, like, literally. I still, I still stand on the premise that I think that Don Lemon threatened to complain about Chris, and that's why Chris... Oh my god, so um, are you saying that it's Don Lemon's fault that Chris doesn't have a job? Yeah, are just like saying? I think that it's Anderson Cooper's fault that Zeb Zucker is thinking about terminating their contract with Andy Cohen. I think that Jeff Zucker, go away! This is the type of way that he runs a company. I mean, this is the most idiotic way to run a company. You let the inmates run your fucking prison, your asylum, whatever you want to say. It's just manager speak. This, I don't want to offend people, but, uh, I mean, this, this is what you do. You let your employees run your goddamn company. You have no authority over it. You just go with whatever the loudest voice is. I mean, that's not even how fucking Trump runs his goddamn business. Why don't you do this, Jeff Zucker? I have a prop. I have a, I have a proposition for you. Why don't you take your little Allison and go away? I mean, I was an assistant general manager of a multi-million dollar restaurant, but it's still local, like, small restaurant. And I did a better job than this dumb, dumbass who runs massive media corporations. Why, why do people hire some fucker like this? I have no idea. Why do people like this get so many opportunities when they're so terrible at their job? What is wrong with the world? And you Hi, fired Damian. Chris over some allegations. And you're thinking about firing Andy Cohen because he stated an opinion on a political official of hello, free speech, what the fuck? Wow, you're an idiot. And then yet, oh, Allison, I love you so much. Oh, Allison, oh, oh. That's all I hear. 
sure. The Damien cameo. <laughs> right? Oh my god! Whatever you say, dear. I see what type of company you're running. Are you were I think CNN is a brothel. I do too. <laughs> I do too. Oh, I see why you fired Chris. He didn't want to make you any extra side money. I see. I see how it is. I see everything for what it is. I worked in a restaurant, bitch. I am not fucking dumb. I did not fall off the turnip truck yesterday. You do not understand. Like, this man is a menace and he needs to be stopped. Go ahead. People like this should not be allowed to be in authority. I mean, hello, Me Too moment. If you need someone to address, here's a perfect person. Men like this should not be in upper management. No! And then people like me and Governor Andrew Cuomo are forced to resign. The ones who are actually good at what they do. Um, excuse me. No, this isn't... I refuse to accept that this is the type of country that we have. Nope, absolutely not. People like Jeff Zucker do not get to be in charge because... Um, it, it, it reminds me of James Franco. I mean, what he did. I, you are ruining lives. And you. it's time for that to stop. Let's see. When you fired my friend, our friend, friend of the channel, you became an enemy of the channel. Mm -hmm. That's how that's going to work. Mm -hmm. Either you're with us or you're against us, and there is no in-between. And we are American citizens. We are strong women. We are in our late 30s, and we're raising an autistic child. Our voice matters, and I do not like how some things are ran in this country and the type of people that we even allow to run businesses. Who in their goddamn mind thought that it would be a good idea to put this fucking moron in charge of people who address the nation? I mean, that was just embarrassing. I I saw a comment on Twitter, and I totally agree with it, that there are other countries watching that New Year's Eve celebration on CNN, and they saw Don Lemon acting like a fucking idiot, making us look like brainless morons here in America and then he just said some stupid word that he can't say he's like what you don't like being around black people there's too many beep 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 and oh my god what is wrong with you you just made the entire nation look like dumb and this man wants to be a political office right and Zucker what? has too much power in this country. It needs to be stripped away. He cannot have this much. And it is my country, and I'm proud of my goddamn country, and you don't get to make us look bad. I'm pissed about it. Now, I want Zucker to issue a statement, and this is what it is going to say. Because of the disgusting acts that I have been involved in with Allison for the last God knows how many years, I have decided to resign. Effective immediately. Go ahead. Finish the statement. I am so sorry for everything that I have done. I want a confession of everything that you've done. And I want you to pay people out of your own goddamn pocket who you hurt. Feel good about yourself. You hurt an autistic child. And I think that you should have to explain to her why you took away her hero. Yeah. That sounds like a really good plan. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. And... We offered you everything. We we said we would join you on your fucking network mm -hmm. and help you market to an entire new net, um, uh, group of people that are more like us, that are centric, that are kind of weird, and also people just like to watch people like us because like, people get bored. Life is boring sometimes. Maybe. And I know from working in bar that people are just like, woo, I want to come see the weird people. And you threw that offer away, which is really dumb of you because you just want generic, mainstream, normie people. And that's why you got rid of Chris, because he was starting to attract crowds like us. He was starting to speak probably about us. I mean, I don't know for sure. I don't know Chris in real life very well. So I don't know. I mean, yeah. So what he did is disgusting and sickening and you need to go away. It's also obvious that you don't like lesbians. I mean, you have an employee who has been outspoken about her hatred of lesbians and since you're so obsessed with sex and money and, and power and whatever else and having people, you know, uh, you're gross. Please you. Then obviously, why would you like the lesbians? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because lesbians don't interact with men in that way. So of course he wouldn't want lesbians around. That's called discrimination. 
you're a sick, disgusting weirdo who has sick, disgusting weirdo problems. And I'm glad that your wife left you. Mm -hmm. But I'm done talking about you because I don't care. We are going to end the video here. We hope you enjoyed this video entitled Jeff Zucker is a jerk. Because <laughs> Jeff Zucker is just a jerk. Yeah. If you guys like this video, can you do the algorithm a big favor and give this video a big thumbs up? Smash that subscribe button down below, guys. I'm getting tired of having the same exact song and dance every goddamn day. Uh -huh. Let's get this channel to a thousand. Is that hard to do? No. Do we have any left? No. But yet, you don't listen. You're like, uh, wait, wait. What's the subscribe button? What's the subscribe button? The subscribe button, the subscribe button looks, it's a big, giant, red button. You click it. Can't miss it. If you miss it, then you must, then you need to go have your eyes checked. Well, I mean, some people are blind. Yes, well, but I mean, we have blind people who follow this channel. We so do! So obviously, you guys need to figure this out because I am sick of so explaining this. Watch the video at the end. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. You know you want to because you know you want to learn more about the dirty truth about this jerk who we're never going to stop exposing on this channel. Give that bell a big ring so you don't miss a moment of the action. Generally, our upload schedule is Monday. Wednesday, Saturday, we go live on Sunday nights and it's a freaking party. Because, wow, we know how to have a party in the Gala household. We're good at it. Want to hear from us every single Tuesday? <laughs> now you can. We have a podcast entitled Gala, Gala Sisters, a podcast on movies and TV. Mm -hmm. And also make sure that you check out our merch. And we created it ourselves. We think you'll like it. It's a great way to rep our brand and be a part of what we're doing. And we have a new little segment called uh, Buy Us a Coffee. And we've already had several people buy us coffee, so thank you so much. It's it's a great way to donate to the channel and fuel our coffee addiction. I mean, everybody needs some coffee. It's only $3 for one, so it helps us out. I mean, this is our bread and butter. This is how we make our money. And remember, this is just a two-woman team. Guys, please go look at our website. It's all shiny, beautiful, and updated. We work really hard on it. We do not pay anyone to do that. Nope. And um, marketing and all the background stuff is not easy. I and mean, we, we don't have any help with it. So uh, please enjoy what we're doing. And thank you so much for watching. Love and share. Bye. Bye.